Hi everyone, Kieran here. I wanted to give you a quick update to some of the enhancements we have recently introduced into NC programs to make it more powerful, help with automation, and also just simply to make your life easier. First off, selecting an NC program in the browser tree now automatically highlights the toolpaths that are associated with that NC program, whether they're in a single setup or placed within multiple setups. Adding or removing selected operations in the Operation tab will update the selection accordingly. Secondly, in many instances, users will derive toolpaths to improve productivity, but confusion can sometimes arise when multiple derivations of the same toolpath live within the same setup. A nice new addition to help with this is that whilst an NC program is highlighted, you can now hover over the individual toolpaths to get a preview of that toolpath to make sure that it is the correct operation used in a specific NC program. Thirdly, we've added a new field, file name, in addition to the name, number, and comments fields to give users the flexibility to name the file differently on disk to that being used within the post processor. This is particularly useful where machines require a file number regardless of file name. We've also made the file name field more powerful by leveraging expressions to help automate consistent file name generation. Clicking on the three vertical dots and selecting Edit Expression allows you to build up your own custom file name convention going forward. To see a list of some of the common expressions used, grab your phone, scan the QR code in the top right hand of the corner, to see all of the expressions you could utilize within this new field. Hope you've enjoyed this quick update video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check that bell icon so that you're alerted when we release new content. From me, cheers.